you know, Rich Dad was just part of my journey. And I was, I'm very, very proud of that brand. I'm very proud of the, what we, the, the changes we made. What does it feel like to be the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Rich Dad, Poor Dad is what, the number one finance uh, book in, ever? <laughs> Well, the, the Rich Chad brand is the number one personal finance brand in the world. And it's been an, it's humbling, it's an honor, but it's also, you know, I think one of the, the purposes I had on earth was to create this treasure trove of information how people take control of their financial lives because we are not teaching it in school. And, you know, I'm as angry about that today as I was back in 92 when my son got into, uh, into credit card debt. And it's something that, when I was on the President's Advisory Council, we passed the Credit Card Act of 2009. I can't take credit for the bill, but I can take credit for being a squeaky wheel. And in that act, it prohibits credit card companies from soliciting college students on campus or within, within a thousand feet of college activity. And as I said, I can't take credit for the bill, but I definitely um, was a huge vocal advocate for it because our kids now are not going to get solicited on campus. They still get solicitations, but at least now they have to show that they have the ability to repay or they have a cosigner. And so there's that moment of thought, that question that makes them stop, stop and think about it. And so it's, it's just so important to me. And so, um, you know, Rich Dad was just part of my journey. And I was, I'm very, very proud of that brand. I'm very proud of the, what we, the, the changes we made. I have people all the time come up to me and talk about how that opened their eyes. A couple of weeks ago, I was at a, a, a financing meeting for Tarek El Musa, who's creating a new real estate fund. And his partner came up to me and said, Sharon, 17 years ago, you came and taught my entrepreneurship class at University of Arizona. And because of that class, it opened my eyes. And I'm now a multimillionaire in real estate because of that. And it's yeah, like, you, You've Whoa. changed a lot of lives, Sharon. I mean, you have celebrities and all kinds of people come in that, that always say that your book is, is top. And, and of yeah. course, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So interestingly, both of the books that you represent uh, are top it's of mind. Pretty, it's much. a pretty humbling, a huge honor to have built the largest personal finance and then to help reinvigorate the largest personal development brand. Yeah, I'm probably the, I'm the only person that can say they were involved in both, but um, it's pretty humbling. I was in a meeting uh, in Clubhouse last week and um, a major Hollywood executive started talking about Think and Grow Rich. <laughs> and I just thought of you, I'm like, wow, Every, everywhere, everywhere we go, like, you know, you're somehow you're mm -hmm. indirectly or directly mentioned with your brands when you're talking about finance, at least. Well, it's, it, it's a huge honor. As I said, you know, it's something that um, all of us, are in a position to help other people. And that's what you're doing with what you're doing. You know, the, the whole doctor finance initiative is to make people aware of the choices they're making around money. And it takes all of us, you know, and the, the, we're still not providing that information in schools. So we have to provide it as best we can.